All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Amen. Uh, real quick, all right, this is a uh, uh, breaking news. As you can see, <laughs> the article hasn't even finished loading. But, you know, we we, we be on it, man. But, um, <clears throat> you know, the one of the brothers had put in our, our group chat. All right, here it says, Trump says sending 1,500 troops to Middle East for mostly, uh, quote-unquote, protective purposes. Okay? And we all know this is this comes, you know, amid the, uh, the, uh, the, the whole tension with Iran, okay, over there in the Middle East. All right? But, hey, I'll get just a quick scripture. All right? Luke 21, because these are all things, these are all signs, really, all right, that the Lord prophesied of, all right? Um, Luke 21, verse 7, and they asked him, they being his disciples, saying, Master, but when shall these things be, and what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? All right, and then he, he tells them, and then going on down, it says, verse 9, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. See, so what are we hearing of? We're hearing of oh, uh, 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 the 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 risk of of a, of a nuclear war breaking out is its highest since uh, World War Two. Okay, we're hearing of tensions with Iran. All right, we're hearing of all these wars and rumors of wars. You know, started with North Korea. You know, now you have Iran and all these different uh, uh, tensions going on. But these are all what the Lord said would happen. But why did he say it must come first, but it's not the end? It's because you still have, like he said, nation shall rise against nation. You still have race wars that will take place. The mark of the beast, all right, the RFID microchip, okay, the the martial law, all these different other prophecies, which the main, the main, main one is that mark of the beast, man, all right? But all these the, these prophecies also have to come to pass before those missiles are, are fully shot off in the, in the, in the full-on World War III. All right, with all these different countries, because once those missiles are, are are shot off, all right, America's that's that's that that hour that the scriptures say is gonna take to destroy America. All right, let me get it real quick. That hour that that clock is gonna start ticking, man. Once those missiles start flying, okay. Um, Revelation eighteen and ten. It says, uh, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her. That's her, that her is referring on to America, all right, or Babylon, all right. And this king is referring on to, you know, I mean, the, uh, uh, the kings are referring on to the, you know, the heads of these other nations, you know, which, which have basically dealt with America, you know, made trade deals and all these different things. That's why it says live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Why? Because America is going to be destroyed both by nuclear missiles and by the char the, the fire from the chariots or the so-called UFOs, which, guess what? You know, we, we're, we're crazy, right? We're crazy for telling you about the chariots, but here it is. You have Esau, okay? Let me pull it up. Here's an article, man. The truth is out there. Pentagon admits to conducted... UFO investigations. The Pentagon has finally admitted it had it had researched and investigated UFOs or UAPs as it calls them. All right, look and may have even dropped hints about ongoing extraterrestrial operations. Hold up, but we're crazy, right? If we're so crazy, why would why would the 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 government? All right, why would the Pentagon be spending uh, all this money to research a fable? Because there's many other things out there. Why are they not researching mermaids? They're, re they're re researching chariots. They're out here making a, a sixth branch, the Space Force. Because they know these these prophecies are, are coming to pass, man. All right? So it says here, uh, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, once again, the missiles, saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, all right, or America, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. So it's only going to take one hour. And that's why, although you hear, look at this, Trump sending 1,500 troops to the Middle East, you know, you're hearing of all these these tensions that it feels as though any any minute a war could break out. Guess what? You still need the prophecy of the chip and the, the little other prophecies to come to pass before that, 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 that war fully kicks off. But right now, what's the Lord doing? He's stirring it up. 
He's stirring up the pot, you know, heating things up to get it ready to to the point where right after right after the last prophecy before the missiles hits, boom, you know that that that, that the missiles are gonna start flying. Because if it's gonna take one hour, how how is the microchip and all that stuff gonna 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 be uh taking place? All right, before America's destruction. Because once those once those missiles start flying, that's the end of America. It's done. It's it's gonna be done. All right. <clears throat> so it says. President Donald Trump has approved a deployment of uh, 1,500 troops to the Middle East, apparently meant to deter what Washington calls an ongoing threat to U.S. interests from Iran. Which, hey man, don't be surprised if, if if they do if they set up a false flag and blame Iran for it, man. Because the way they're pushing against Iran, man, hey. Let me see. Uh, we might have a little more information on here. There it is. So it says here, President Trump is order, ordering more troops to the Middle East as tensions between the United States and Iran continue to rise. CBS News has confirmed that the new deployment of forces to the Persian Gulf will include more Patriot missile batteries and other force protection systems and will be designed for the long-haul confrontation with Iran. CBS News David Martin reports citing U.S. officials. So we're living, yeah, man, we're living in a time of prophecy, man. We are living in a time of prophecy. These things weren't happening years ago, man, on, on the level that they're happening now. Hey, the Lord said, uh, this generation shall not pass till all be fulfilled. And we're seeing all these different prophecies popping their heads up. All right. So that's how you know it is the very same time. All right, like like it says in the Apocrypha that the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. So it says the move follows acting defense secretary Patrick Sh uh, Shanahan's denial of reports Thursday that between 5,000 to 10,000 U.S. troops could be sent to the region uh, to defend against potential threat or the potential threat by Iran. Uh, Shanahan told reporters or Shanahan told reporters Thursday there is no. 10,000, there's no 5,000, and that's not accurate, referring to a Reuters report that Pentagon was considering sending 5,000 defensive troops to the region, which they could do that on, on the low, all right? And and an Associated Press report that up to 10,000 could be deployed. Uh, Shana, Shanahan, uh, he said his focus right now is determining the right force protection in the region, all right? But, um... Uh, Oh, yeah, let me read this part. It says, tensions between the U.S. and Iran have been running higher since the U.S. earlier this month suddenly deployed U.S. bombers in an aircraft carrier to the Persian Gulf over threats that have not been uh, specifically described by the U.S. Uh, strife between the two nations. Now, 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 you need to understand that what this is going to do is it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause an increase in oil prices, okay? And that's also going to affect the economy. So not only do you have the weight of the trade war between the U.S. and China, all right, which is going to affect you consumers, <laughs> all right, big time, now you have oil that's also going to be affected, okay? So the Lord is really, he's really tearing down the, the, the quote-unquote foundations of this place, man. So it says, strife between the two nations has increased over the course of Mr. Trump's tenure in office since his decision a year ago to pull the U.S. out of the internationally accepted Iran nuclear deal. The president has been openly disdainful of the Iranian regime after a rocket landed near U.S. embassy or near the U.S. embassy in Baghdad. He warned Iranian leaders not to threaten the U.S. again or risk facing Iran's official end. <laughs> and, then, and then you had Iran reply by saying they're not going to surrender even if they're bombed. All right. So hey, we're 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 definitely living in a time of prophecy, man. We are definitely living in a time of prophecy. All right, but low will in this video is edifying unto the elect. You know, um, hey, depending on how the spirit has it, man, I might I might do another video once the article fully comes out. Okay, but um, you know, just stay 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 watching, man. Okay, because these prophecies are they 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 come into pass. The Most High is the, he's dealing, man. All right. So I want to give all praises to you. How about Shem? How about Shai? And Shalom.